I'm about to talk about poop. I don't know how to... <laughs> For an hour. <laughs> you are watching How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I made a cake from an upcoming movie, and I'm really upset because I think this one's really crappy. <laughs> Get it? Please subscribe to this channel and make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I've made a new crappy cake. <laughs> I like that you're embracing this. I am. I like it. Yeah. To make poop from the upcoming emoji movie, <laughs> Jocelyn, this is gonna go on a while. My two eight inch round and two seven inch round chocolate cakes are out of the pans. I'm going to level them and then I'm gonna layer them each into two layers. Next up, I call in Sir Squeeze. He's relaxing, I feel bad. He's, oh. he's just chilling. If you're wondering if we bought a pool floaty for Sir Squeeze, of course we did. Of course. We take him everywhere. To fill this poop cake, I am using both chocolate ganache and chocolate buttercream. And I'm also gonna add some mini chocolate chips to the chocolate buttercream. It's what's on the inside that counts. I am redefining poop. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking the word back. We're gonna make it ours. We're gonna make it positive. This poop cake is like rich and chocolatey and delicious. I'm gonna make poop number one. Oh yeah. Now I have eight layers of cake stacked up and filled with alternating layers of ganache and chocolate buttercream with chocolate chips. Poop is rich. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I didn't even Jeremy, how good did it smell? Oh God! Oh yeah! Shoot! You know when people say like, oh he thinks his poop doesn't stink? His poop doesn't stink. <laughs> poop doesn't stink. He smells like chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. You may have noticed something new about me. I did it. I got tattoos. <laughs> If you guys want your own tattoo, temporary of course, we have limited quantities of Walter Melon Sunday Cupcake, and then we also have my giant chocolate chip mint ice cream cone and my cake of cakes. These How to Cake It temporary tattoos have already been sent out to Cake Tea Club members and they're also in the summertime bundle. You can get your own at howtocakeit.com. Join the rebels. Now that my poop cake is chilled and the buttercream is set, it's time to carve him into a piece of, well, he's like a big drop, right? <laughs> I use my serrated knife and I carve poop. I did make myself a template. It was just flat, but I sort of used it to hold up against the cake and make sure my peak was high enough and he was sort of rounded enough. It has like some girth at the bottom. <laughs> Even with simple shapes, it's important to carve away little by little because it's easier to just keep carving than it is to try and put poop back. You don't wanna have to build cake back up because it could end up looking like the very thing I'm carving right now. I'm really happy with this piece of, so I am gonna crumb coat him in ganache. If you wanna see more emoji cakes and other character cakes, there's a playlist right here. Time to ice my poop cake once again in chocolate ganache and chill him a final time. I don't know if you've seen the trailer for this upcoming movie, but Poop obviously thinks he's hot So I'm gonna put him in the fridge to chill out. I need to make some of Poop's facial features now because they are going on underneath the fondant. So first I wanna make his eyeballs. I've rolled out some white gum paste. I need to cut an oval and as I roll, I kind of create a little hump because I want his eyes to be like two dimensional. Is this helping you? <laughs> for his grin, I roll out more white gum paste and use my template for the shape. He's definitely laughing about something, you know what I mean? Probably the fact that he's called Poop. Probably. <laughs> For his eyebrows, I rolled out some modeling chocolate. 
cut out the shape of his eyebrows using my templates and then I gave them some texture with a veining tool. This poop has some thick eyebrows. I just want to put it out there. For his pupils, I'm rolling out some black fondant really, really thin using a small oval cutter to cut them out. And then I'm going to create um, a little bit of shine in his eye. I just use my template to mark out where that triangle is. And what I do to accentuate it is paint the entire pupil with a little bit of black food coloring and not paint that inner triangle. So that little triangle is left matte black and the rest of his pupil is a shiny alert black. <laughs> alert black? Yes, alert black. <laughs> Look it up. Bet you it has like a meaning somewhere ridiculous. Here's something I love about Poop. He is so different. You know how a lot of my character cakes have catch lights? And if you don't, check out that playlist I mentioned earlier. Poop's catch lights are square. That's what makes Poop so fabulous. He has square catch lights. For his white bow tie, I'm rolling out some white gum paste, nice and thin. Get this, his bow tie looks like it's linen. That's how bougie he is. Like if you were poop, would you choose a white bow tie? It's risky. It's risky. It's very risky. I was thinking about how to create the linen texture, and the best thing I thought of on the fly was I had some canvas, plain canvas, I laid it on top and then rolled my fondant pin over it and that created that linen texture in my gum paste. Then I cut out two equal size bands and pinched both ends of each band together. Now I need to fold the two pinched ends up onto each other creating a loop. And to keep that loop open, I just took a little bit of clean paper towel, rolled it up and put it inside. So just something, a soft cushion to allow it to dry that way. Finally, I need to make the center part of the bow, so I cut out a little band from my linen gum paste and wrap it around those two bow loops where they meet in the center. Before I cover poop, I need to add his eyeballs and his grin. I add them directly onto the ganache surface. I use my template to help guide where they should be. And now that they're secure, it's time to cover poop in chocolate fondant. What if somebody tunes in like right there? <laughs> It's time to cover poop in chocolate fondant. I roll up my chocolate fondant large enough to cover this whole piece of poop and then I pick it up with my French rolling pin and drape it over. I'm going to smooth this cake with my hands because well he's like, you know, he's soft. Using my fingertips to really smooth around the eyeballs and the grin. I tuck as much fondant as I can underneath and trim away the excess. Now it's time to cut open Whoa. his eyes. That sounds awful. That's also, awesome. what if you tune in right here? <laughs> Basically, his eyeballs are completely covered and I need to help Poop see the light of day. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to use a sharp paring knife and I'm going to cut the fondant that is on the bottom half of his eyes and then around the eyeball. This way the fondant that remains looks like eyelids. I also need to unleash his grin on the world, because what a grin. I use a sharp paring knife once again to cut away the excess and reveal his two perfect teeth. The thing I love most about this emoji movie is that it's about self-love and being your best self no matter what anyone else thinks of you. Here at How to Cake It, as a team, we really try to encourage each other to do that, and we all play a different role. You guys obviously know Jocelyn. You've heard Jeremy a couple of times. Heard me mention Orhan and his terrible sweeping, but you don't get to hear a lot about Connie, who is an integral part of How to Cake It. She does a whole lot of things that you guys don't get to hear about, including finding all of the things that we sell on howtocakeit.com, dreaming them up, working with different artists to create things like this very rebellious watermelon tattoo. Sir Squeeze would not be able to lounge in a pool without Connie. Sure. July 26th, which is tomorrow, is Connie's birthday! Yeah. 
Guys, please leave a comment below wishing Connie a happy birthday or head over to Connie's Instagram and leave her a cake emoji. Connie loves sweets. Connie, we love you so much. We hope you know it. Now we've told the world. Let's get Marvin Gaye to sing for Connie. Orhan? Connie. That was the Marvin Gaye Connie birthday remix. <laughs> Woo! Yes. I need to do Poop's hair. For his very quaffed wave, I take some chocolate fondant and just create sort of like a big long teardrop. Actually, at one point, it looked dangerously close to poop. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I feel like Poop is a bit of a hipster. Like a he mature is. hipster, right? With a linen bow tie? Yes, he Linen is. bow tie. He's mm -hmm. bringing back the wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I saw him on Ossington. <laughs> they won't get that. <laughs> Torontonians, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I've created this sort of long teardrop with a point at the end. And then I actually used some more chocolate fondant underneath his bangs at the back just to prop up that wave. Poop needs his pupils, his eyebrows. I glued them onto his face with a little bit of clear piping gel. And now he's just, he's so charming. You know, he's mm -hmm. a charming piece of poop, mm -hmm. I think. Now I need to make his arms and legs. And to get a sense of how long I want them to be, I'm going to place poop on the cake stand. I roll out two cords of chocolate fondant and I'm going to place a wire inside each tube to help prop up these legs. He has stick legs. He does. Yep, Poop has stick legs. Stick legs and like long, thin feet. And then I also shape his foot at the end. So bending that tube and then just shaping his foot and I make two of these. While I make the arms, I just need to leave these legs in the position they're going to be placed. So I hold them up against the cake stand and bend his knees. And I'm just gonna leave them to the side of Poop for now while I move on to the arms. For his arms, I want them to be like fixing and adjusting his bow tie. So I make them similar to the way that I made his legs and feet, but at the bottom, or the top, I guess, I roll the fondant a little flatter and then use a knife to cut out fingers. And then I gently use my fingertips to sort of round out those sharp edges that I cut so that they look like he has three, three fingers and a thumb. Now it's time to place his hands and legs onto the cake. So unfortunately, I have to lift him off the stand so I can secure his legs and arms on the stand. And then I place the arms on on either side, keeping in mind that I want this sort of position so he can adjust his bow tie. Now I need to move Poop back on the stand with the help of Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. You're welcome. Right now, Poop is number two. But when I add this linen bow tie, he will be number one. Clear out pee. I'm flushing this toilet. There's a new number one in town. Oh my God. And it's this guy. And then I just want to take his hands and rest them on each one of the bow loops so it looks like he's adjusting his bow tie. Whatever, they call me number two, but I'm not. Let me fix my linen bow tie. So yo, it's time to cut into poop. Yep. <laughs> I've never had to someone tell me to eat before. <laughs> But you know what? Something odd happened. I completely ran out of napkins and paper towels that day. <laughs> what did you use, y'all? What a coincidence. <laughs> well, Poop had some toilet paper, <laughs> so he lent it to me. If you want to see more emoji cakes and other character cakes, just click right here. There's a playlist. If you want to see giant food cakes, there's a playlist right here. Poop's not going in that one. <laughs> if you're still with us, and you can appreciate our humor, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell because poop happens. <laughs> no. <laughs>